Once you've completed a rough draft for your printmaking project, you need to cut out your stencils. You're gonna need a piece of mat board, an X-Acto knife, a piece of carbon paper, your rough draft, a 2H pencil, and three pieces of the stencil template to cut out your stencils. The first step is to take your first stencil template paper, put the piece of carbon paper facing down over top of the stencil template, line it up in the top left-hand corner, and then place your rough draft also lining it up in the left-hand corner. The first stencil I'm gonna be cutting out is my color blue, which is my background color. The only thing that I have to trace are the contours that go around the blue. Then I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to cut out the parts that I want blue. I'm not cutting out the cactus part, I'm cutting out the part of the negative space, the blue space, the part that I want exposed to my screen. Wanna make sure that I'm cutting it very carefully to get nice clean edges. Next, I'm gonna cut out my shapes for the pink. You do not need to draw any of the details when you're doing this. So I'm only drawing the basic outlines of my pink stencil. All the details will come in my black layer. Once I'm done with my pink, I'm ready to trace out my green layer. Green is a little bit tricky in my picture because I have areas on my picture where the green is surrounding my pink. So I'm gonna have some areas that I need to mask off that are in the middle. They're gonna be floating. So what you have to do, if you have any floating objects that are in the middle of your color that you're trying to trace, you have to create little tabs that connect that to the side of the paper because you can't have any pieces of floating paper in the center of your stencil. So I'm trying to be strategic about where I put the little tabs that are connecting uh, my pieces to the side. I'm trying to put them where I know they'll be covered with the black so they won't be noticed. Every piece that you have in your stencil that needs to be covered that's floating has to be connected all the way to the side of your stencil. So notice I'm connecting all my little pieces to the other pieces so that when I cut it out, I won't have any floating objects in my stencil. That those areas that are covered by the pink will still be covered when I do my green print. It's also helpful sometimes to shade in the areas that you need to cut out. Sometimes it can get confusing as to what you are actually supposed to cut out. And if you cut out the wrong thing, then you have to start that stencil all over again. So I shaded in the green areas and now I'm cutting those pieces out. Once you're done cutting out your stencils, you'll be able to start printing. <laughs>